Uh, hello, we have just finished Watches and Wonders and all these wonderful people have some opinions to share with a little salt on top. Mm. We're starting, it's a kiss, marry, kill scenario. And there you are. Oh God, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> I'm throwing the salt shaker to... Oh. Whoa! Oh. Kiss, <laughs> marry, kill. All right, all right. Hold, hold. What is it? Go. Kiss, marry or kill? It is kiss. It is kiss. Ooh. All right, it's going to be the Zenith. The Phi with the orange dial, the small one. Really yes. like it, really Very like strong. it, but won't be forever. So, just love it. That's it. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. <laughs> that was like some crouching tiger action. All right, what am I doing? All right, yeah. so my kiss has got to be the failure number two FB res. They've opened up the movement, skeletonized it. Amazing fusée and chain mechanism. You knew I was going to pick something quirky and just a little bit too technical and very expensive. So it's going to be Kiss because I can't fucking afford it. <laughs> Next. Ah! I'll get salty. So this is for Kiss, yeah? You Can you hold it yeah. down? Yeah, okay. Now, uh, so this is Kiss and it was nearly Mary, okay? So the Nevada Grenchen F77 titanium oh. with the meteorite dial. Very, very delicious watch. Very, uh, it's like the working man's AP. You know what? That just one wrong thing with it. Those lugs, they go a little bit too far out. I wish they just cambered down just a little bit more. Then that might have got me over the line to marry. So yeah, there you go. That's my kiss. Okay, ready? And all right. Got it. So kiss. I think I'd have to go with the Alang Omserna Datagraph Perpetual Calendar Turbion Honey Gold Lumen. I think I nailed that. Um, it's a hell of a watch. I love that juxtaposition between conservative and modern. The loom pops. It's 620,000 euros, so I'm gonna have to sell both my kidneys to get one. Uh, but absolutely amazing German watchmaking. Love it. All right. <laughs> that was a safety for? net for you. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Well, my kiss of the fair is gonna be the Promenade by Chapek, the one with a beautiful enamel blue dial. Yeah. It's something a bit different and, and not an everyday carry, so just a kiss this time. Oh! oh, oh speed! <laughs> oh. I, I can't get salty about this watch at all. It's the Skipper, and even though our good friends at Hedinki brought it back and made it super popular, in steel, didn't catch me at all. In rose gold, there's just something about this tone of the rose gold and the way it plays off the colors on the dials. The regatta timer is there for a reason, but the reason changes when it's with rose gold. It's just a, an absolute kiss. It's just, I want to kiss it all over. <laughs> I don't I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle to keep it to a kiss, but that's Ooh. my kiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh Zach. Oh, <laughs> so, for this watch, I'm gonna have to give it a kiss because the Santos Dumont I currently have would get jealous. So I'm gonna have to kiss. I can't marry it. So the Santos Dumont Rewind. And there's also a particular reason why I wanna give this a kiss and not marry it. And that's because I love the carnelian red dial and I love the palm apple brigade styled hands, but I don't necessarily love from a practical sense that the hands go in reverse. They actually turn counterclockwise. I will probably have a hard time reading that dial and therefore, it's just gonna be a kiss. It's not forever. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Cool. Nice. So, my kiss of the fair, it's gonna be a watch I saw day one, and I thought it was gonna be my watch of the fair, and then it got pipped at the post today. Oof. And the only reason it's the kiss is because this brand keeps coming out with great stuff. I think if I got it and I lived with it forever, I'd regret it because they'd come out with something even better. It's the Black Bay 58 GMT. Ooh. So the Bakelite-like bezel, amazing. The way they've made it vintage styled, better than they've ever done it before, I think. But I have this belief in Tudor that they're gonna top, they're just gonna beat themselves again. They're gonna do even better next year. More so I'm just gonna have to, to come. see. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Guess what? It's kill time. Oh. It's a kill time. Oh. Kill time. Right. So it seems like it seems like Russell and I don't really have similar opinions. <laughs> Both of the watches that he really liked this fair were in contention for the kill. The first one was actually the Black Bay 58 GMT. I'm just not into the guilt. I have a Black Bay 58. I love that watch, but the guilt just doesn't do it for me. But the one I'm choosing to kill is the Hermes Cut. For one, well, two oh, reasons. The first one is the crown. Just put it at three o'clock. And the second, the noodles, <laughs> they switch randomly midway through. I, it just, I feel like they could have done better. 
Sorry, I missed. So it didn't make the cut. No! Bro! Zero white bucks. <laughs> Try the veal. <laughs> oh, oh, sneaky bird. Well, well, well. Uh, Rolex didn't got much love this fair, and I'm gonna continue the trend. <laughs> <laughs> Day Daytona with a uh, diamond bezel and the uh, mud of pearl dial doesn't make it for me at all. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> In the oh. tundra. All right, I am gonna continue the trend. I'm sorry, Rolex, but, oh, no. but that massively heavy gold piece of junk metal on your wow. wrist that's wow. gonna kill you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't. Know. I think it's too much with the with the blue dial. It just doesn't do it for me. So sorry. 340 grams of death. Yes. Yeah. But they put a titanium case back on it for likeness. They did. <laughs> well, so it doesn't look like it. I was editing that video and I was like, what is that? Like, <laughs> it's, no, it's too big. It's got to go. That's going to die. Oh. Deep sea. It should never have been made. That's all I have to say. And two. Yeah. I'm just like, it's a massive solid gold dive watch nobody asked for on what could have been the 70th anniversary of the Submariner. So thank you for that deep sea instead of a titanium Submariner like we've all asked for a hundred times. I love you though, Rollins. <laughs> Please allocate to me. <laughs> Um, look, I'm going to resist the urge to dunk on Rolex, even though it's really what I want to do. So I have a qualified kill. <laughs> I want to kill the Hublot Big Bang Unico Orange Ceramic, not because I don't like the watch. It's the first orange ceramic watch from Hublot. It's great, but it's a lot more expensive than the green ceramic watch that they put out this year. So what I want to do is kill the price difference. I'd rather it was the same price as the green. I know why they've done it, because the orange is much harder to make than the green ceramic, but just a little bit cheaper for us, please, Hublo, and that's what we'd like. That's what we'd like. <laughs> oh. oh, all right, so. <clears throat> I'm about to get pretty salty. All right, okay, so. I don't think I've been as angry as I was yesterday with Pietro under a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Someone handed me a watch which was impossible to shoot, and actually, I've never accepted defeat until yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop, stop, here we go. Suck. Suck. Yesterday, I actually, I, I, had to, I had to give up. I gave up and it's the space one. I'm going <laughs> insane. You are witnessing a very special moment. No, it's not so special. That is every, every year. <laughs> it point. gets to this point some stage. Okay. Now look, Delirium. conceptually very Delirium. conceptually Delirium. very very creative conceptually, but I tell you a few things. A few things wrong with it. Very very hard watch to shoot. Totally dome sapphire, mirror finish all over, reflects the entire universe and globe, right? And it's got an adventurine dial. You need to hit that thing with light hard to make it I could not even take a photo I couldn't move the watch I couldn't even with my own eyes I couldn't even get it looking good so look guys <laughs> I'm sorry but you dead <laughs> okay. okay I'm gonna do a Jamie here and look I'm not one to flinch from a kill and I, I love a kill but I actually want to kill myself oh are you do, do you need okay? help? It, uh, <laughs> it's okay, there's many numbers you can call. <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we stop the tape? Yeah, like, no, that's, that's, that's I want to kill myself because you've all been dissing Rolex and we will die by today and I won't have a steam. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kill you guys. No, I want to kill myself because I'm such a sucker for olive dials and rose gold that I made a huge fuss about an overseas that is just a green dial overseas. Why did I do that? I, I go with the heart at the start of the fair and I go with the, I, I, you will see from my marriage proposal that I, I end up self-correcting, but I want to kill myself because I've made a huge fuss about the least imaginative watch of the fair. It is beautiful. And clearly I just, you know how sometimes they say guys are driven by 
I, you know, for me, it's just, I, I, I'm an olive and green, I'm an olive and gold dude, and I kind of got, I got bamboozled, so I apologize. I'm killing myself for all of that Vacheron Constantin promotion. It is wonderful watch, but I, I, I should have said something else. Um, so that's the end of time of Clyde because Andrew McCutcheon has killed this model. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone left? It, look, yeah. It's been 10 yeah. years, we had a good run. <laughs> <laughs> So my kill, I've actually changed my mind twice on this. Again, Ooh, I keep, I'm sweating. Yeah, it's tough. But for mine, I've got to go Chopin. Ooh. I love what they do. I think they do amazing dress watches. But to me, the skeleton Alpine Eagle, it yeah. does away with the best part of the Alpine Eagle. Those dials, amazing. I love them. They're deep, they're colorful, they're rich, and it's gone. Mm. Fine, you can see the movement, but do I want to see that movement? Oh, it's a nice movement. It's, it's beautiful. Fine. Movement. It's fine. But <laughs> it's I get spoiled. I get spoiled when I look at movements made by independent watchmakers. So I'm I'm tilted in that sense. Bitter but and yeah, I am. That's my kill. Chopin. Uh, Controversial. Skirt. Yeah. Salty. Actually, I think you should salt yourself, sir. There's plenty of salt in that. <laughs> Is that it? Marry. Marry. Marry time. Marry. Okay, let's open. Oh, Pietro! Yeah. He's too young for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't commit early. No, I'm, 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 no, it's not gonna happen. I'm not committing early, but uh, last year, if I remember correctly, I chose a Parmigiani. And this year, I'm gonna choose a Parmigiani again. Uh, stay uh, well, it's, it's gonna be a long-term relationship, so it's better this way. And, <laughs> and it's gonna be the Tonda PF Siena. And they will, when they got rid of, of the date, I was like, okay, this is definitely the perfect one. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. there we go. All right, are you ready to just travel into the future? Yeah, well, come with me to HYT. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so HYT, notoriously difficult watches to shoot. However, now, not so. They have the new T1 series, is that right? Far more wearable, same technology, tells you the time with the fluid in the watch and everything like that. Incredible, beautiful dial, but the, particularly the one with the, um, it's like a copper dial or sa salmon dial, salmon dial, copper dial. Yeah, very, very beautiful. But the, the strap change system, I think probably the best in the world I've ever seen. It is amazing, man. And the way it canvas perfectly on the wrist, you, you, I mean, look at the images which you're looking at now. Uh, it is an incredible watch. It's a bit of a stretch, 50 grand, but cheapers. I'd, uh, I'd happily sit with that one for a while. Yeah, that's my memory. Okay, so, uh, mm, oh, here we go. Nice. Uh, gosh, sorry, um, I hope my girlfriend doesn't see this, but I'm gonna marry the Hermes, Sonnery, Triple Axis Tourbillon, Asu de Aduk Atel, I think is the correct saying. The number of details that they've put into this watch, phenomenal. You've got the horsehead hammers. You've got the double H on the tourbillon cage. You've got horse heads on the rack on the back. You've got the cogs that line up to make the shape of the carriage on the Hermes logo. Everything is there. They've thought about everything. There's a subtle guilloche on the dial. It sounds phenomenal. Big, but I just, I fell in love when I saw that piece. That's my marry. And, and where were this leg? <laughs> Oh! It's happened. It's happened. We had a good run. It's happened, that's all right. Time and tide's gone. I've dropped the salt. It's all going down. Okay, well, I've also discovered my grail. Vianne Holter and his team handed me this watch yesterday. Just said, here you go. Go. And I and off I went. And uh, it was the Vianne Holter Antiqua. And it's my new grail watch. As simple as that. Incredible experience. So you had to get it back. You didn't just off, off you go. Of, of course, <laughs> yes. It is definitely not currently locked in my suitcase. <laughs> Andrew. Okay. Sure. Very gentle. Look, IWC win this fair. Just hands down. You know, uh, like, it, like I said before, I started being besotted with a, a, a rose gold and green dial watch, and I've ended up wanting to marry, with a little more time, the eternal Portuguese calendar. It is a time machine that can predict and will tell you the moon phase for the next 45 million years. 
I mean, we're doing dial variations, we're doing a, a, a quick change strap over here, and meanwhile, IWC are creating a little machine that will accurately predict the moon phase for 45 million years, and they've done that by using AI to generate 22 trillion options. They chose the best 100, then their engineers narrowed that down to one. This is just, why are we not talking about this more? The Eternal is a watch that you could wear as a reminder of, of just the sheer insane achievement of humankind. I'm marrying the hell out of that. We're gonna last millions of years together and we're never gonna be out of sync because I'm gonna keep it on. I'm never gonna take it off. <laughs> okay, who's next? Catch. That. Oh, hey. It's like, do you want it? Do you not want it? So I think that this might come as a bit of a surprise to the people sitting here, but the watch I'm gonna marry, it's very practical and it's just been introduced with a new special twist, and that's the F. Bjorn Elegant Gino's Dream. The Elegant is a watch that I've always thought is a really good daily. Uh, you set it down, the watch will preserve its battery by stopping, and then as soon as you pick it up, it goes automatically back to the right time. And when I first saw the assets for the Gino's Dream, I thought that you know it was gonna be super crazy expensive with rainbow gemstones set into the bezel. They're not gemstones. They are ceramic glass stones, that are done in a variety of rainbow hues and they're very uh, robust and scratch resistant. So it's kind of a creative take on like a ceramic insert for whether it's a Submariner or a Daytona. So I just think it's really cool. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a ring on it. <laughs> oh, Jamie. So um, I'm very glad and also surprised that Zach did say Grand Seiko. Mr. Grand Seiko didn't say Grand Seiko. So I'm going to say Grand Seiko, although I, I, I'm, I'm regretting my kiss and marry choices, whatever. The Grand Seiko SLGW002 is the marry because I'd want to actually own it and live with it rather than the Langer. 9.95 millimeters thick, rose gold, a new take on a white birch dial. It is utterly classy. It's the first proper dress watch from Grand Seiko that's got me really excited. It's something I'd want to wear to the fanciest of occasions. Take her out for the world to see. I want the Grand Seiko. All right. So done. Oh. Oh. Nope. oh. One more. All right. Saving the best for last. Mary. Here we go. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to IWC as well, but definitely not for the Eternal Calendar. It's got to be the hand wound trivia, day and night, with the black dial. Ooh, 13 yeah. layers, 13 layers of lacquer, yeah. right? And the swear embedded, and it's just, I could look at that forever. And the tourbillon, at the colors, I could drown in that dial. I definitely want to have that for the rest of my life on this empty wrist. <laughs> so, that's it for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So thank you very much, everyone.